Today's grammar lesson is about action verbs like sweep, turn, swim, walk, swing, wash, take. All of these are action verbs. So we have two main parts of speech. Two main parts of speech in English which are the noun and the verb. Noun is the name of a person like teacher, doctor, animal like dog, monkey, place like hospital, school, thing like door, window. While the verb is a word that names an action or tells something about the subject. And usually the subject and the verb are like best friends. They always come together and they depend on each other. The verb can be two types, action verbs or verb B. What are action verbs and what is verb B? Action verbs are words that tell what the subject of the sentence does and when we say does it means actions and movements so action verbs shows actions and movements and whenever you you think of action verbs just remember this picture that shows actions like carry jump dance sing eat bounce whisper all of these are action verbs while the verb be can be is are or am in the present and was and were in the past it tells who or what the subject of a sentence is only it shows no action it can be only is are am and was and were now you can describe this picture using action verbs in a sentence you can uh, write them on a piece of paper here we are going to circle the action verb the workers constructed a new house workers is the name of a person so it is a noun house is the name of place so it is a noun now you ask yourself two two questions about who the sentence is talking about workers so workers it is the subject and what did the workers do they constructed so constructed is the action verb so again the two questions about who the sentence is talking about the boy what does the boy do the boy eats so eats is the action verb the teacher shouts on my friend at school so here this is the action verb catches here play here like and watches now here you have to uh, the, the action verb is missing you have to add an action verb to complete the sentence miss rosa us arts and the music so here uh, miss rosa is a teacher so what action verb can you use simply teaches and miss rosa is the subject my small sister a lot of new words also my small sister what knows for example knows a lot of new words and the same is applicable for the rest of the sentences now we have something called subject verb agreement to agreement it means that the, the verb should agree in number with the subject so they must match with each other agree with each other and they must be the same before going into this let's remember singular means one one thing one person one animal one place plural means many or more than one when the subject is singular the verb should agree with the subject should match with the subject so the verb should be singular and for the verb to be singular it should take s e s or i e s when the subject is a plural the verb should be plural and for the verb to be plural the verb should not take s at all it takes nothing we add nothing to the verb so subject so singular subject singular verb plural subject plural verb now this is a small exercise to a short exercise to help you understand the subject verb agreement use if watch or watches the movie now about who the sentence is talking about yusuf yusuf is the subject this is the first step you know the subject now second step you should know if the subject is singular or plural so ask yourself yusuf is singular or plural it is singular so the verb should be singular the verb that you should choose should be singular and for the verb to be singular you should add s e s or i e s why did we hear add e s because the verb ends with c h and when the verb ends with s s s c h s h x or o then you should add e s so here yusuf watches the movie now the children play or plays in the park the children is uh, is the subject this is one number two it is single it is plural because we have many children so here the verb should be plural and for the verb to be plural it should not take as so here the children play in the park the rooster wake or wakes everyone up here the subject is rooster it is singular so the verb should be singular so it must take s e s or i e s here it we added only s because the verb doesn't end in s E, uh, the, the verb doesn't end in s s s c h s h x or o so here's the same 
name he brushes because he is sing it is the subject and it is singular so the verb should be singular we add es because it ends with sh here also my brother crosses the bridges over the brooks and she pushes the cubby hole toward the center now we move to this also it's the same john fixes the door of his room third graders no why because third graders it is the subject and it is a plural so the plural verb doesn't take an s so it is no every summer my friend goes to the village now here when the when the verb ends in y you should look to the letter before y if it is a vowel you add only s if it is a consonant like here you add i e, you cross y and add i e s depending on the subject if it is a plural or uh, singular the frog lays nine eggs ali carries books to the library so as a conclusion when the subject is singular the verb is singular so it takes s e s i e s when the subject is a plural the verb should not take s at all when you add e s when the verb ends with s s s c h s h x or o and finally sometimes some action verbs are more suitable than the others in some sentences which means that you prefer to use one action verb than the than the other the squirrel the not you can use nibbles and you can use eats but it is more preferable to use nibbles because eats is more used with the humans while nibbles is used with animals and here he takes small bites so it is nibbles the mother my mother whispers to the baby because usually you talk in a low voice to the babies the ball bounces because it's better to use bounces with the ball and here the puppy gobbles uh, rather than eat it's like the squirrel because the uh, gobbles means to eat and make some uh, noises so it's better than eats it's more suitable to be used with the puppy so you prefer to use some action verbs rather than the others to suit more with the subject